So I'm going to be covering the STB556 for the second time here on the channel. And I think I've made some massive improvements to this one. There's been additions of attachments and I've gained a little more knowledge on some other attachments in order to make a more viable build. My last one was pretty slow paced, but what I've been able to do is keep the recoil nice and low while making it a little bit faster. All the Modern Warfare 2 weapons by default are going to be a little bit slower paced simply because the inbound sight speeds are slower along with the sprint to fire speeds. But at the end of the day, the STB is one of the better MW2 assault rifles in this game and this class setup is going to help you enjoy that. So my first attachment here is the Jack Glassless Optic for that fire aiming stability. Along with that, we get a nice clear reflex sight picture. It is a preference, but that fire aiming stability is very important. For the rear grip, you are going to want the Stip 40 grip. It's gonna control some gun kick along with recoil control, nothing crazy, just 7% across the board there to your gun kick, horizontal, and vertical recoil control. So for an ammunition type here, you are going to want the high grain rounds. It's gonna increase your damage range by 15%. It is going to knock a bit of your recoil control off, but we're gonna make up for that with the next two attachments, and it is important to increase the damage range on this weapon. For an underbarrel here, you're going to want the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. That's gonna give you gun kick control, aiming at a sway, horizontal recoil control, and fire aiming stability. The big one in this particular case is the fire aiming stability. Without the correct attachments, the STB556 shakes around a ton and the visual recoil is almost uncontrollable. It makes it very hard to hit shots. So this is the first visual recoil attachment you really need. In the final attachment is a muzzle, which is the Casus brake, giving you horizontal recoil control along with more fire aiming stability. So between the optic, the underbarrel, and the muzzle now, it controls all the visual recoil on this weapon. It's a very straight shooter. So you're gonna be getting that 18% to the horizontal recoil control, but more importantly, that fire aiming stability. So here's all those attachments. If you guys wanted to pause to copy these ones down, I did just say it's an extremely sh straight shooter, probably more of a medium range assault rifle in my opinion, and even close range due to the fire rate. At long range, you may find a little bit of trouble because it doesn't have the best damage range overall, but it still can manage if you're an accurate player. Here is also the rest of the loadout for the STB556. If you guys wanted to copy this one down, as always, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me if you have not already. We're gonna jump into gameplay to feature my STB556. You guys are gonna enjoy that one. Let's get into it. Uh, this is odd. I've never had this happen before. I straight up just spawned into a game really late and there was no one else in the game. This was, uh, sure. Let's go with that. There was, uh, there was like no one playing. It was really weird. I've never had that happen before. I, I always like starting the game fresh because you get like the flow of the game. You know what I mean? How they're going to play. You always know right off rip how someone's going to play or a team is going to play based on normally the initial pushes. Like if they're aggressive on the hill, you know they're probably gonna be pretty aggressive the whole game. I'm gonna go this way. See, I'm, I'm already all sorts of messed up. My flow feels off. All right, looks like could be behind. Well, I think only one of them is on the hill. I think this lobby's got a problem. I think people are lagging out constantly, and I think that's why I spawned into this thing the way I did. Just feels something feels off. I can't put my finger on it though. All right, Vsol. All right, advanced UAV is in. Let's call our VTOL, put it here. You know what? I don't care. Now it's starting to feel right. If I'm running scavenger because I'm never I'm not really picking up ammo here. No more advance. Tossing 
Another VTOL. Oh, another advance. That's the money. All right, money. Pretty awkward start to a pretty good game so far now. Thirty-five. Plenty of time to get this kill count up. Changing map. We got one down. Advanced UAV. All righty. Time to go. Tossing some things. Swapping map. What's your brush? So if there's any other MW2 weapons you guys want to see me use, you just got to go down in the comment section and let me know. Most of them are pretty, pretty usable. You know what I mean? And they've done a lot of adjustments here to make a lot of them quite good. Like the STB is one of them. There's not many MW2 weapons I don't mind using. You know what I mean? Hitting the slide cancels on me. I think I'm going to DNA bomb it right here. Let's call this and now, yeah, they're spawning pretty far away from me. So I'm going to DNA bomb it. All right, 62. I think I can probably get up to like 80 possibly here. I think 80 is a, a quality number. Oh, good grenade. I don't even know where that came from. Just landed at my feet and blew me up. I just spawned right here. So did they though. Yeah, they spawned over here behind me. Seventy nine. Well, I was pretty spot on there with the eighty. With the time left here, I might be able to get ninety, but depends. <laughs> Eighty-three and ninety might be a stretch, but we can try. Eighty-six. So they're all in the next objective. I'm, oh, look at that. I was going to say, I'm real confused. Okay, so 90 needs... I need one more kill for 90.
Oh, I got a hundred. That was not a part of the plan. But that's a hundred kills there with the STB.